Separation of pyjama pattern. Take sufficient length and width of the pattern paper. Then start with the separating back leg. By the end of this unit, students will be able to derive various parts of pyjama patterns drafted in this method. Select appropriate seam finish. Apply appropriate seam allowances and provide notch marks according to the fold and seam allowance. Place the draft on the pattern paper, then place carbon paper in between draft and pattern. Trace all the relevant marking for the back leg. hip line, thigh line, then knee line. Since it is a straight line, I am not going to trace. Bottom line, then move to Inseam, that's in leg, back crotch line
ensure all the markings been traced. Then remove the draft. Draw all the lines. That is a tie line. Knee line. and bottom line. Crotch line, in leg, waist line and uh, fold line, side seam hip level, in seam or lower portion, out seam, lower portion, then blending to hip line. It's to be, it has to be straightened. Slight 2 mm difference that I have blended, it happens you have to make out and correct it if any errors in cause while tracing. Now add seam allowance 1 centimeter all around, if uh, fabric is thin, yes 1 centimeter is enough because it is a comfort wear or if it is medium weight and heavy weight, medium weight yes you can give half, half an inch, that is 12 mm. Crotch line also 12 mm, inseam 12 mm,
bottom three and a half centimeter. Side seam one centimeter. or it can be considered 12 mm if fabric is light weight 1 cm medium weight yes you can go for half a or that is a 12 mm half an inch Inseam can be considered 1 centimeter, that is a 10 millimeter if fabric is thick. If fabric is medium weight, yes, you can give half an inch seam allowance or 12 mm. Now start cutting. Thank you. 
hemline to be creased, fold and cut because the shape to fold should align. So, I have folded here, this to be folded, then cut. When you fold and cut, you get this kind of uh, diversion. So that when you fold, the alignment will happen. Draw green line. And label the part that is the back leg. Back leg. Cut pair to size. 38 pyjama garment is pyjama with this uh, separation of back leg is complete Before separation of uh, front leg, I want to show the self turned fly which takes you know other side for which you need to crease the center front line and uh, take it to other side, crease it and transfer the shape by pinning the cow line that is a fly cow line. Now, this is taken to other side.
Ja. The front pattern will start from here, continues here and takes turn here, then goes here, then to front leg. And side seam leg from hip line is uh, common for both and both front and back. Now let us separate the front leg. Align the front leg draft on the brow pattern paper and start tracing all the lines relevant to front leg. Pocket opening. Then center front fly. Crotch line that is a front rise line. knee line thigh line
with this tracing is completed.
with this tracing of uh, front leg is completed now adding seam allowance and cutting the leg see as uh, I told in the front center front 1 cm side seam 1 cm in seam 1 cm or 12 mm if it is uh, uh, medium weight fabric then hem is uh, 3 and half cm 1 cm in the waistband fold This cutting will be different. Yeah, it's a one centimeter as I told. Then leg is a one centimeter. Side seam is one centimeter. Bottom is uh, three and a half centimeter. Now seam allowance is uh, completed, now start cutting.
increase bottom line, that is a hem line to fold and cut. get the diversion here. Me to also draw tie line Then draw a green line. <coughs> Front leg two required and size is M. With this front and back leg is completed. Now, we have to separate the pocket bag. With this separation of uh, pajama legs are completed. Now, we need to do the pocket bag. Front pocket bag which is attached to side seam of the leg. Take paper approximately 22 centimeter in width and 36 centimeter in length. See it should be folded and creased thoroughly. Then turn the draft to other side. Align the fold line to the front fold line which can be traced and taken back, aligned to the full line. Here it is visible in my draft. You can transfer the line to other side and stick with cello tape. This is another technique of separating the pocket bag or tracing the pocket bag. If you are not sticking, it may get tilt. Now, I place the tracing paper in between the pattern and uh, pattern and uh, uh, draft, then start tracing. You need to trace front waist, waistline, then side seam, Then bottom shape,
now you can take out the tracing paper and take out the pocket bag this pocket bag can be also derived from using the front leg pattern connect all the traced marks Then add seam allowance. Top 12 mm can be given because it is uh, inserted in the draw cord tunnel. And sides as per the leg that is 1 centimeter. then bottom 1 centimeter. So, start cutting. See with this pocket back for the side seam of the legs is completed. You need to give the grain line and part name pocket back to be cut two numbers size M. It is a we call side seam pocket back. With this uh, separation of uh, trouser concluded, I am going to show the notch markings for the trouser. Notch marking, place the pocket bag underneath,
notch marks are given on the hemline, pocket opening and the fold line of the waist tunnel. With this pyjama pattern completes, these patterns are ready to cut and sew the garment. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit, you have learned how to separate the patterns from the master draft.